It is the 31st of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, buckle up, it's going to be a long one. So uh, let's go ahead and begin on SOP.net. U.S. Florida pythons apparently wiping out Everglade mammals. Uh, this is an ongoing situation. Many of them pets were turned loose by owners when they got too big. Appears to be wiping out large numbers of raccoons, possums, bobcats, and other mammals in the Everglades, the study says. Um, up to 99% in some cases. A very interesting read and an ongoing problem that is in the Florida Everglades. Uh, I recommend a hunting season and, and let the good old boys go down there and tear them up. Severe cold snap. Heavy snow kills at least 36 people in Eastern Europe. Two people are missing. And, uh, cut off powers in town. Snarl traffic officials responded with measures ranging from opening shelters to dispensing hot tea with particular concern for the homeless and elderly. They got an extreme storm rolling through. Strange sounds in sky explained by scientists. Check it out. Mr. Uh, Kalioff, what is the nature of the unusual very low pitch sounds reported by a great number of people in different parts of the planet since the summer of 2011? Question mark. Um, I've seen reports back to 2008. Many call them the sound of the apocalypse. Uh, information come that comes from all over the world, U.S., United Kingdom, Costa Rica, Russia, Czech Republic, Australia, etc. We have analyzed records of these sounds and have found that most of their spectrum lies within the infras infrasound range, i.e. not audible to humans. What people hear is only a small fraction of the actual power of these sounds. They are low frequency acoustic emissions in range between 20 and 100 megahertz, uh, hertz, <coughs> modulated by ultra-low infrasonic waves from 0.1 to 15 hertz. In geophysics, they are called acoustic gravity waves. Um, da -da -da. They are formed in the upper atmosphere at the atmospheric ionosphere boundary in particular. There can be quite a lot of causes why those waves are generated. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, storms, tsunamis, etc. However, the scale of the observed humming sounds in terms of both the area covered and its power far exceeds those that can be generated by the above mentioned phenomenon. So there's still kind of a mystery going on. I encourage you to read the story. It is not the bells of the apocalypse or the, the, the sounds of the apocalypse. It's a natural occurring event. Uh, there are things going on in the earth right now. We've been covering it for years and years. Uh, U.S. negative 62 below. Deep free, freeze grips much of Alaska. Uh, this is an ongoing story. Even if it has been a warmer than, a, than usual in much of the United States, there is no denying Alaska is seeing a real winter, even by its standards. And uh, Anchorage is shivering through one of its coldest days, January's on record, while Fairbanks folks preparing for a sled dog race were being tested by temperatures nearly 50 degrees below zero. Farther inland, Fort Yukon has ranged from minus 50 to minus 62 degrees over the last three days, getting close to its record of minus 78. So definitely the freeze is on in Alaska. And again, no mention of fallout from Fukushima in all this snow and weather that they're dealing with, because that blows right up into Alaska down the west coast. Powerful energy releases emanating from the Earth's core recorded. International Geodynamic Monitoring System, a part of GNFE, out of London, has registered on November 15th a powerful energy release emanating from the Earth's core. The intense three-dimensional gravitational anomaly was almost simultaneously recorded by all geophysical stations separated by vast distances from the Earth in other following cities, Istanbul, Kiev, Baku, uh, Islamabad, and... A uh, city in Indonesia I can't pronounce. And uh, according to them, uh, the detailed analysis uh, re 
records indicates a powerful energy release emanating from the Earth's core. According to the scientists, this fact may be may herald intensification of geodynamic processes in our planet as a result. A higher number of strong earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis. And uh, so the Earth core is, is affecting and, and it's dealing with the volcanoes uh, uptick that we've been seeing in the big big earthquakes. Another, you know, climate changer and that has nothing to do with CO2. Uh, change of tune. No need to panic about global warming. There's no compelling scientific argument for drastic action to decarbonize the world's economy. Uh, USJ editors note the following has been signed by the 16 scientists listed at the end of the article. Um, in September, Nobel Prize winning physicist I, Ivar Gavir, a supporter of President Obama's in the last election, publicly resigned from the American Physical Society with a letter that began, I did not renew my membership because I cannot live with the APS's policy statement. The evidence is incontrivable. Global warming is, global warming is occurring. If no um, mitigating actions are taking significant disruptions in earth physical and ecological systems, social systems, security, and human health are likely to occur. We must reduce emissions of greenhouse gases beginning now. Uh, in the APS, it's okay to discuss whether the mass of the proton changes over time and how multi-universe behaves, but the evidence of global warming is inconvertible. Uh, in spite of the mainstream international campaign to enforce the message that increasing amounts of pollutant carbon dioxide will destroy civilization, large numbers of scientists, many very prominent, share the opinions, and a number of scientific heretics is growing with each passing year. The reason is that a collection of stubborn scientific facts, and the sun is a big factor on our climate, a big factor. I'm not arguing the fact that pollution is bad and uh, we are mucking up this world uh, without end uh, in the sky, in the seas, on the ground. Um, but as far as the main climate change thing goes, uh, it's not due to carbon emissions. It, it, it's, it's way bigger than that. Step back and look again. Uh, got a 6.3 magnitude earthquake off, uh, near the coast of central Peru. Um, there were several deaths and uh, damages, that kind of thing. Over to the extinction protocol. Again with this uh, craziness, USGS monitors Earth's magnetic field to prepare citizens for magnetic storms. Uh, space weather, variable conditions in space surrounding Earth has important consequences for our lives inside Earth's atmosphere. Solar activity occurring miles outside the Earth's atmosphere, for example, can trigger magnetic storms on Earth. Uh, these storms are visibly stunning, but they can set the modern infrastructure spinning. On January 19th, scientists saw a solar flare in an active region of the Sun, along with a uh, concentrated blast of solar wind, plasma, and magnetic field lines known as coronal mass ejection that burst from the Sun's surface and appeared to be headed towards Earth. When these solar winds met Earth's magnetic field, the interaction created one of the largest magnetic storms on Earth recorded in the past few years. The storm peaked on January 24th. Just another storm began. These new storms and the storm we witnessed on September 26, 2011 indicate the uptick in activity coming with Earth's ascent into the next solar maximum, which is due sometime around 2013. And then we start minimizing out and we start cooling down. And uh, they've got the story out of Peru, 119 injured. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the watchers, uh, I wanted to put a comment out to the parents. Children's medicines coated with brain damaging aluminum. Aluminum lake Food coloring used to heavily coat liquid medicines for children contain dangerous amounts of aluminum and harmful synthetic uh, petrochemicals. These petrochemicals are 
carcinogens containing petroleum, antifreeze, and ammonia, which cause a long list of adverse reactions. Aluminum poisoning can lead to short and long-term central nervous system damage, such as memory impairments, autism, epilepsy, mental retardation, and dementia. Researchers show that just 4 uh, ppm of aluminum can cause the blood to coagulate. This is what causes al Alzheimer's disease. Uh, oh my god, and it just goes on and on. So uh, watch the children's medicine. It is coated heavily with aluminum, which is very bad, bad, bad for your children. Uh, definitely read the labels on anything before you give your kids. And that's about all new they have uh, beside the cold snap that grips Europe uh, ongoing situation. Over to the RSOE, we've got a lot going on today. Um, <clears throat> extreme weather in the United Kingdom, they're calling out an alert for the week. Uh, they're going to have extreme winter weather conditions, ice, uh, trees down the works. Argentina, they're having extreme weather, uh, thunderstorms, heavy winds, trees down, hail, uh, roofs getting ripped off the works. Uh, we have a nuclear event in the state of Illinois, the Byron Nuclear Generating Station. I will get into that a little with the E&E News. Um, extreme weather out of Turkey. Uh, they're having more snow and, and, and that kind of thing. Flash flooding in Indonesia. Uh, they had a big tropical storm roll through there. There's a lot of extreme damage. Uh, deaths, that kind of thing. Of course, the big earthquake out of Peru. Uh, we have a BP oil leak in the North Sea off of Scotland. Um, F-O-I-N-A-V-E-N -E oil field, which is BP owned. Uh, they discovered a leak in one of the pipelines. They've shut down production. Uh, the government has let BP investigate what's going on and report it. We know we can trust BP to tell us exactly what's happening. Uh, they're saying there's no sheen on the surface and uh, they're not really sure how much oil has escaped yet, like we're ever going to know. Uh, South Africa, the Western Cape, uh, big wildfire, uh, big forest fires, wildfires going on out there. Of course, the tropical storm in Indonesia and all the damage that's going on with that. And uh, the big snowstorm in Europe, of course. Uh, over to ENE News now. Uh, the state of Wisconsin issues statement on nuclear incident in Illinois, currently monitoring condition after plant loses power and went offline. Uh, basically, RSOE says uh, there was a big steam release in the turbine room um, and there is some radioactive isotopes coming out of that. Trillium, I believe it is. Um, they're saying uh, it's not dangerous to the public or to the workers, uh, but the steam was so, so thick. Uh, firemen, eyewitness, it looked like a lot of smoke coming from the containment building at Byron Nuclear Plant had to be told it was steam. Original call said a building at Byron Nuclear Plant was filling up with smoke. Uh, so this wasn't some small steam leak, this was pretty extensive. Another report out of uh, at Byron Press Conference, a lot of people are calling us about a loud noise. Uh, was a special emergency re response team on the scene, they've got a video on that. A lot of people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not a huge concern, quote-unquote, at nuke plant outside Chicago's. Employees report seeing smoke coming from Transformer after outage. Uh, no fire was found, of course. And uh, emergency shutdown in Illinois' reactor. Smoke was, ac was accidentally steam containing radioactive material. Workers evacuated. Releases will continue throughout the day. So if you are downwind uh, from the Byron nuclear power plant in Illinois, a uh, definite heads up for you. Um, they are saying <clears throat> that there's no threat to the community, but I would like to bring this next story in. U.S. University studies 23% higher incidence of childhood leukemia within 16 kilometers of nuclear facilities uh, everywhere in the United States. And with this big steam release, 
uh, those levels are going to go up for sure. Uh, not a good thing. They need to shut down every single nuclear power plant in the world and uh, let's deal with this now instead of you killing us later. Grim government estimate says Japan population to shrink by 40 million people in the next 50 years. Uh, now 780, 7,800 liters leaked from ruptured pipes. Previous figure mentioned was 600 liters, and that's the Fukushima Daiichi plant, uh, reactors 4 and 6. Uh, more leaks found at Fukushima water spews from 16 points. Amount leaking at some facilities not revealed. So, of course, they're not telling us exactly what's going on. And... Um, the insanity continues. Where's all this water going to end up? In the Pacific Ocean, of course. Um, abner abnormalities in offspring of mammals to get particular attention in Fukushima study by government. Shrinking brain capacity. Drop in populations seen in Chernobyl wildlife. And uh, this is nothing compared to uh, what's going on in Japan. A Japan paper professor now reveals high level of radioactive materials detected over a thousand kilometers from Fukushima last April. Uh, this fallout is global. And that's about all new they have tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. I'll leave your comments or attach your videos below. Um, enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks.